Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, let's troubleshoot the power button together. I do not have a solution for the laptop, meaning that I'm just going to go along with the video. As I go along, I'll try to um, see if I can point things out to educate in the video or to make it entertaining in the video, but definitely I have no solution to fix the power button. So we're going to troubleshoot this all together, okay? So here's the power button on the side. As you can see that the power button is stuck inside. I'm not able to power up the laptop. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get going with that. So this is a Dell Inspiron. Check the model here. This is P30E. So Dell Inspiron P30E. I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. Let's remove all the screws. Alright, so there are four screws on the top. Four screws in the middle. And four screws at the bottom. To me, it looks like all the screws are the same size. So if you mix match the screw, it is okay. I don't see any screw are longer than the other. So it should be fine. So all together, we have 12 screw, 4 top, 4 middle, and 4 at the bottom. Okay, there's a lot of turning. All done. Let's go ahead and open up the uh, bottom case. So to remove the case, we get it open and it looks like the power button here is on the uh, bottom left. If you're looking at here, that should be the power button. Let's take a look. See if there's anything we can do here. Yep, to me it looks like the uh, the power button is replaceable because the power button does go all the way to the top and it's this thing to slide it down and that is the clicker. So it looks like the clicker broke off. This is the power button, right? You can see that the power button is is supposed to be like this and then the clicker is supposed to be like that okay it looks like two of the leg is broken off but it doesn't seem like it needs to be touched It's just a solder point to hold it together. That's what it, it feels like to me. And this piece of a plastic, it looks okay. Let me see if I can uh, push it back.
yeah it's not that easy the thing has to be glued them back together so I think I'll order the part here um, there is a serial number here to to look for let me see this is the uh, CN085 GTT so that is the uh, the model to look for for the to find this replacement what happened is that as you can see that that is the clicker right here that clicks so the plastic on the on the on the button here it pushes out the clicker and over time you kind of tilt that that clicker all the way to the back okay so when it's tilt like that meaning it prevents the clicker from clicking so there's no contact from the plastic button to the clicker so more likely we need to replace it but I do find it curious and see if I can uh, glue it together I do not have a, a, a soldering point to solder that two feet the two feet is actually holding down to that uh, to that PCB board here mm, the only thing I have is a uh, super glue I'll try to glue it together um, but not in this video I'll try to glue it together and see if it works but ultimately I do need to find a replacement for this so hopefully this video helps I know that it's not much of a explanation but it's just uh, I like to troubleshoot this together at least to show you how to replace the power button all right so back to the computer uh, since you guys stay here all the way to the end of the video I just like to quickly walk you through it that is the battery if you want to find a battery replacement it's very straightforward uh, you just have to slide the connector down uh, once you slide the connector down that that way you can you know um, replace the battery by removing all the screws and take it apart if you're not sure what way to find the battery uh, take a look at here that's the model 33y dh that is for your edge the dell battery and if you're looking for hard drive replacement is there a hard drive here uh, there should be a hard drive here which is the 2.5 SSD drive here that is the hard drive and if you ask can I upgrade to an M.2 the answer is yes that is the M.2 slot here which allows you to have um, additional hard drive storage you can do it just like that getting the M.2 SSD drive slide it in at 45 degree angle and then lock it down with that screw is provided down here in the bracket all right and can I upgrade the RAM the answer is yes you have two RAM slot first and second the second is available for an upgrade it runs on a DDR4 as you can see the label is DDR4 CPU fan should come and clean it off if it's dusty but other than that this is a straightforward I'll place an order for this and thanks for watching until next time bye now